nothing again Barefoot dancing in the pouring rain Oh no, no, no Regina, won't you come back home? on the screen of a mountain, Pilot Mountain, a mountain in North Carolina during our interview a few minutes ago. And um, it occurred to me while we were playing that song, Regina, that in the music video, there's a shot of me sitting at the top of that mountain. And um, 
the the filmmaker put a little stool right at the edge of the cliff, and it's the most scared I've ever been that I was going to fall off a mountain. Um, but if you watch the music video for Regina, it's all filmed in different places in North Carolina that are meaningful to me, including Pilot Mountain. So Regina is um, an album with all music inspired by the word queen. These next couple songs are also from Regina. This one's called Venus. <coughs>
Michelle Willis on vocals and keys. What do you guys think about new music? Yeah. Cool, no reason. Um, we're going to play some brand new music for you tonight. Six of them, to be exact. Ooh, I liked that little lens flare. Yay! <laughs> New music. Um, so there's an EP that is coming out in two days, which Kuhn mentioned. It's, the, it's five songs off of the full-length album, which is coming out in March of 2020. The album's called Wonder Bloom, and um, I do have copies of the EP tonight if you like these songs and you want to take them home. This song is called Between Me and You. Something in those eyes of 
yours they're saying things and i'm listening we don't have to sit and talk being near you is all i want i swear i caught you sighing why are you hiding Fighting the urge to reach out and touch your hand. Will you hold your breath? Will you leave it there? We don't mean to carry on. Just one moment to come undone. Drawing a little of your light that I long for. When you're gone, you know. I just got so lost in your guitar solo because it was so beautiful. Jan Ezra on the guitar. <laughs> that I forgot how far away from the microphone I was. And I looked up and I was like, no. <laughs> yeah, that's, that was Wait, funny. how did it look again? No. <laughs> but whatever, you know. Um, <laughs> we're going to play another new song for you. This one's called I Will Avenge You. And it's uh, the story in this song is based off of a, a script of a TV show pilot called In the Dark. The TV show is called In the Dark. I actually haven't seen the show yet. I just read the, the script for the pilot and sent this song to Michael Showalter, the director. Um, they didn't choose it for the TV show, so I put it on my record instead. Um, <clears throat> but the girl is, uh, she's decided that she wants to avenge the death of her friend Tyson, who saved her life once in an alleyway. She's blind and she was being mugged in an alleyway. He saw it happening and saved her life. And then two years later, she um, is walking her dog and he comes across the dead body of Tyson and she realizes it's him and runs to the police and they come back and he's gone and they don't, no one believes her. So she decides that she's gonna figure out what happened and avenge his death and bring him home. So this is called, I Will Avenge You. Dark 
darkness is the hungry dog that follows me eternally howling begging for a bone apathy is the only remedy cause misery craves company but i'd rather be alone Blind girl in the alley And the bastard who took everything Just because he could Decency is the dark who saved a stranger Even in the face of danger Chose to do some good devouring me satisfied only by the writing of what went wrong sympathy does nothing for me cause it won't bring you back to me but I Lately, Becca has, um, this has become the Michelle Willis Comedy Hour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, um, the other day we were in Groningen. I can't do it. I can't say it. But it's a great town. And I said, it's great to be here. I have a lot of great friends in Amsterdam. And everyone was like, oh. It was a cool moment for me. I made lots of friends <laughs> there. Uh, <laughs> but uh, personally, I love being in Holland. And yeah, and people don't even like when people say Holland, right? You prefer Netherlands. God, I'm screwing up. <laughs> My friends aren't gonna admit that they know me after this show, I'm pretty sure. Um, the Canadian equivalent of like annoying things, white, incorrect white, things to yeah. say. I don't know, it's like, wow, it really is cold here. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's annoying. <laughs> well, I don't know. 
or people, yeah, when people aren't used to winter. This is entertaining, right? <laughs> this is what you, this is what you came here for? Okay, great. Are you ready? I am. Oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here's another new song for you. This one's called Halfway. And on the EP, if you get one tonight or in a couple days, it features this really amazing harp player, songwriter, singer, percussionist. Um, her name is Laura Perudine. Do you guys, are you fans of Laura? I heard one whoop, one very quick little jazz whoop. Um, she's incredible. And this song, the original demo of it was very like, um, Radiohead, uh, Radiohead's there, there meets like river dance or something. <laughs> and um, <clears throat> we took it to Laura's apartment in Paris and just completely deconstructed the song. And she took um, long pieces of metal, like shish kebab things, and stuck them in the strings of her harp and then took these like mallets and go and turn the harp into a massive snare and then mess with her pedals and she's just she's a mad scientist and um i love her i hope you i hope you end up hearing the songs on the record that we collaborated with her on this one's called halfway <laughs>
different way. So we're going to play a song, an older song, from Perfect Animal <clears throat> that you might also recognize from um, this band called Snorkel Parpy. <laughs> um, they've like won Grammys and stuff. Uh, Snarky Puppy Family Dinner Volume 2 has this song on it, alongside an incredible Swedish trio called Vassen. Yeah. Um, but we're going to play my version, and it sounds a little something like this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wait, how did 
would say text. text. Huh? I just sent you a text. Sent. All right. <laughs> the battery might die on this during this song because it wasn't plugged in. But whatever. We'll just finish the song any regardless. Here we go. We're going to play you a new, new, new song. This is the single from the new album. It's called Good Stuff. I wrote this with Kave Rastagar. And um, yeah, I hope you like it. I wake up, I don't want to, but I'm drawn by a dream to find meaning. Low on love and out of money, it's all the same. I'm in the game to ride the long wave, fight the good fight. The one that lights you up through the dark night Cause the more you give when I wanna give up The greater is the pull from what I'm dreaming of Yeah, the good stuff Ella, 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 Ella good stuff Ella, 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 Ella good stuff Gotta save the day, but be a lady. You know, don't say too much, be too smart, get too angry. Working twice as hard for half as much to get that satisfaction I can almost touch. But I'm much more than just enough, cause I know all that I'm made of. I'm a good star. places are to travel. Hold that thought. I'm just going to plug in real quick. Um, can you guess what my tie is for top place? Okay, so it's Japan. It's tied for top place with Amsterdam! Yeah! Somebody boo? Nice. Do you 
live here? Are you like from here and you're booing Amsterdam? I really like this um, city a lot. I like it a lot. It's, um, I feel at home here, not, not only when I'm walking around and hanging out, but also very much so on stage. I love the audiences here and that's big for us. Um, I like your sense of humor. I like when we go on long walks on the beach. Um, see, if I'd said that in Germany, nobody would have laughed. <laughs> The other day we were playing in Germany and um, apparently I said, <laughs> come on guys, be nice. Um, <laughs> the other day I was playing in Germany and I kept saying that I was playing new songs and I guess I said brand new several times. And at one point I said it, I guess maybe like third or fourth time and the whole room just erupted into laughter. Like a joke that just, not, it was such loud laughter that I turned around to see if there was something behind me that was funny. <laughs> yeah, I don't get it. Um, so we're gonna play a song called Tillery. And this one. Okay. This is a song that I wrote to, um, I had, I had a friend who was very special to, make, to me. Her name was Kenya Tillery. And she passed away. She died of cancer. And um, she was an incredible musician, and I wanted to write a song that um, honored her life and reminded me how precious life is. And so I wrote this song. It took me a, a really long time to write it. It took me like a couple years for it to come together. And... Um, Part of the poem, part of the poetry, the front end that's about, that's based in winter, is by a poet named Jane Tyson Clement. And then the, the warmer seasons are by me. It was a collaboration of sorts with someone who I've never met, Jane Tyson Clement. And since then, um, there's been a book of her poetry made that I wrote the foreword and a commentary throughout um, of Jane's poetry. And I've done five more of her songs since then. So I'm an author now. And you can buy that book. It's called um, The Heart's Necessities, which is a lyric in this song. Tillery, here we go. Thank you. La, 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 la. La, la, la. La, 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 la. Love. 
soon the sun will rise again. La 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 la. myself in a song and I just stare directly into a light for a long time. Do you, does anyone else do that? And um, so I am totally blind now and I'm trying to tune my guitar but I can't tell the difference between red and green. Maybe this will. Um, <clears throat> doo -doo -doo. This next one is called I Wish and this tuner is making more sense to me than the one on the floor. Oh, that was nice by the way. Um, do we have light? Make some noise for Mark on lights. Are you his mom? Who, who's... <laughs> I created him! Who was that? No? Just a friend? Let's say yeah. Oh. <laughs> cool. Um, okay, here we go. This one's called, I Wish, and it's new. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> yeah. Shut down like you I'm falling 
just when you thought I couldn't go any lower. Man, this guitar sure can take a low C, I tell you what. Um, this guitar was hand delivered to me. I, maybe I shouldn't tell. I trust you guys. Um, this was hand delivered to me by David Crosby himself. Yeah, he took it on an airplane. He decided it wasn't getting enough use in his house and that I needed an electric guitar. At the time, I was doing all my traveling on a Taylor acoustic. And um, this thing totally changed my life. It changed my music, of course, um, and was my gateway drug into pedal obsession. Um, but yeah, it was, it was during that time in New York a few years ago, two or three years ago, when there was like crazy, crazy snowstorm. And um, he drove straight from the airport and like climbed over a snow drift into my apartment in bed with his wife, Jan. And the one thing that they asked of me was just to have some food waiting for David because they hadn't eaten in a long time. And so I ordered like $100 worth of Chinese food and it was three hours late because of the snowstorm. So there I had a, a, di a hungry diabetic in my apartment who <laughs> hand delivered me a guitar waiting for Chinese food. I'm a horrible person. All right. Oh yeah. So speaking of David, um, this song came about because of a, um, a David Crosby songwriting challenge. You heard a little bit about um, the Lighthouse Band if you came to the, the interview um, before the show tonight. and. Um, that's Michelle Willis, by the way, from the Lighthouse Band. <laughs> Michelle also has a CD out. She is sold out, unfortunately, because they got gobbled up. She brought some CDs to sell um, ahead of these snar snarky puppy shows that we're doing next week. We're both we're like taking turns opening for them, and she sold them all already. Um, but you need to definitely buy one in whatever way, digitally or hard copy online. It's called See Us Through, and she's an incredible songwriter, one of my favorites. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so David is um, a great storyteller, and he always has these awesome ideas for songs, and he sort of dropped this one on me. It was, um, it's a, a sad story, something that um, happened in America a couple years ago. There was um, a woman killed while peacefully protesting the Unite the Right rally in Charlottesville, Virginia. Her name was Heather Heyer. And Cross thought that there must be a song in there somewhere. Um, it's sort of more his style to do these politically driven songs and um, was outside of my comfort zone. But that being the the inspiration for this record, Wonder Bloom, like going up against anything that felt like was outside of my comfort zone, I decided to try it and um, ended up with this song. It's called Heather's Letters to Her Mother. And um, the lyrics in my mind are things that Heather is saying to her mom in these little letters days leading up to the event and just um, one sort of after beyond the grave. Heather's Letters to Her Mother.
We've got two more songs for you. Please make some noise for Chris Tordini on the bass. <laughs> All the way from Colombia and Florida, and also has a Netherlands passport. <laughs> Jan Ezra on the guitar. <laughs> from Toronto, Michelle Willis on keys and vocals. <laughs> from Philadelphia, Jordan Pearlson on the drums. <laughs> That's the first time you've ever not played something for... I was for... trying to think of a Philly thing. I, I just <laughs> Michelle took it. And I don't want the world to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is it supposed to be? See me. See me. Because <laughs> I'm embarrassed of your face. Um, who am I leaving out? I'm from North Carolina, and my name is Becca Stevens. <laughs> that was Philly one time late. Yeah. Well, that was Philly, but, but one time late. Have you guys ever seen on YouTube... Um, <laughs> September by Earth, Wind, and Fire, but it's like it's like off by an eighth note, and it's a semitone flat. Ha! It's amazing. If if any if you get anything from this performance tonight, it's that you should go home and watch that. <laughs> Just have a drink and enjoy. It's wonderful. All right, this is called Be Still, and I'm gonna twist a couple things on my.
say thank you with your hands to Philip on sound. <laughs> Also, make some noise again for Kuhn for doing that awesome interview before the show. And Jurgen, make some noise for Jurgen. Oh! We're gonna finish off with a cover. This is um, an arrangement that I did of Stevie Wonder's As for Gretchen Parlato and Mark Giuliano's Wedding Day. Um, I stood on a block and sang this just right before they said their vows. This is called As, and last night someone in the audience called it Ass. <laughs> Here we go.
Thank you so much to the Bim House. We love you. Thank you, Amsterdam. Love you. Good night. Joni Mitchell for you.
Do you want one more? We. Oui. 